My friend was illegally beaten and detained and pepper sprayed by police. He has asthma. He has contacts which can actually melt into his eyes. He did not get medical attention for eight hours. After he went to the hospital, we made an agreement to stand up to injustice and show the police who's back. We are here to defend the Constitution. We are here because we are human beings and we have rights. And we will not stop when a cop tells us that they don't exist. We are not subservient to the police. There is nothing to be afraid of unless you commit a crime. They are not the authority. The people are the authority. This is granted to us as the Constitution. If you do not fight for your rights, what do you have? Basically, me and a group of about six friends were walking down the street uh, early in the morning of July 3rd, and a group of police officers, I, I found out it was eight, I saw four of them, followed us down the street and didn't try to see if we would comply. They just attacked us with mace and handcuffed us. I asked what I was being detained for, and I had my face slammed into the ground. Then I was in jail for eight hours. They never gave me charges. Let me have a phone call, read me my rights, gave me medical attention for the mace. I'm asthmatic, so that could have been deadly. Uh, I mean, they didn't follow any procedures at all, and we're here to hold them accountable. We're here to let them know that informed citizens can and will stand up, and that they are powerless to do anything against them. You should not be afraid of the police to walk down the street. There is no reason when you see a cop car that you should feel the need to look over your shoulder. As humans, we have rights, and we must fight to defend them before they take them from us. Yeah, I'm just here to support you guys. Dar What's your name? Darren. Darren and my son Michael. Um, everybody should know the rights and everybody should know what's going on within their own boroughs, their local laws, and even above that, the constitutional laws, so they know the rights because um, my son, you know, was attacked by the police. Now, I have nothing against the police. The police do their job and do it right and buy by the laws and the oath that they took. Um, they, they go by an oath to treat people with respect and dignity and, you know, protect and serve, not abuse and beat. And um, I take offense to anybody, any officer who abuses those rights for people. Um, it's wrong. So if this happens to you, stand up for your rights. Don't be afraid to say and speak your mind. Because our society nowadays, everybody's afraid to speak out and stand up for their rights, which... The government has done a good job of making people afraid to speak out for themselves. So don't be afraid. Stick up for your rights. Uh, my son, I saw him the next day after he was in jail all night for no reason, tumultuous behavior, which is a catch-all phrase I found out, you know, that they can use when they don't really have anything to charge somebody with. But um, I was appalled at the, you know, the way he looked. Um, they, they, they did a number on him for no reason. They, they stepped all over his rights and told him he had no rights, and this is wrong. And also, after I was detained and thrown into the cop car, I asked the cop what I was being detained for, and he said I would find out later. I asked him who I, my arresting officer was, and he said, not him. Then I said, well, how come nobody read me my rights? And he told me I didn't know my rights. So I quoted the Constitution for my rights. And then he said that there's no such thing in the cop as the Constitution. And later, I talked to a lieutenant after the whole incident, and the lieutenant told me over the phone and told my father to his face that municipality rights can override or abridge the Constitution. When it even uses the word abridge in the First Amendment, that you cannot write laws that abridge the freedom of speech. So there's, I think the corruption is uh, worse than we thought out here, and that's, again, that's why we're out here. Alright, you want to do whatever you want out here, okay? Only one problem, okay? You're not allowed to use that. Under what statute? Here it is right here. Look it up. Okay, you're not allowed to use anything that amplifies the voice. Well, that's what you're doing. You can read it, make your own decision. Well, that's Should you do question. it? I have a I'll question about you. the law. I mean, okay, I'm just letting you know. Well, no, I, I want to ask you about the law. Well, we're not. I'm, this is not a news conference. Well, no, I mean, I'm but just, you're I'm a just, I'm just advising you that you can't By the way, you're use. Recorded. I'll show you. Soon. Fine, I'm, I'm recorded all the time. You're not allowed to use noise amplifying or voice amplifying devices. We've read this and I've even gave it to a lawyer. This okay, alright. Conti continue to use it and I'll cite you. That's no, all I'm going to tell you. I'm just saying, I want to clarify. Well, I'm, I'm law. telling you, that's what the law reads as far as we're concerned. Sounds good. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. What law reads? I mean, it's right there. Yeah, we already have this. We have this. Okay. Yeah, it's, 
it's it's a noise, it's an amplifying well, don't, device. Well, don't we have a Tenth Amendment that says that uh, all, all laws passed have to be compliant with the Constitution and the First Amendment? If you continue, if you right continue to use it, I'm going to cite you. That's all I'm going to tell you. Alright, so what? cite you for a noise violation. Well, don't you need a complaint? Can we can do that? No, absolutely not. I don't need a complaint. You're, you're using a noise amp. No, I'll tell you what. Went to the courthouse where they protest every week. Every week. They all know the rules. I'm just giving you the rules to follow the rules. I don't believe that. You can be honest. Okay. I follow. talked to the lieutenant in there. He told me, when I went in and I talked to him about that, he said there's an ordinance against right. using one of these. That's it. And I said, show me yours. He said, well, there is no ordinance, but you have to have a permit. And he sent me upstairs. I went upstairs, and they told me, no, we can't no, give you no, a permit. Listen, listen, and it's, they actually told me I'm, it is a I'm, noise. I'm, I'm, clarifying wrong, I'm clarifying this for you. I'm clarifying it. I'll clarify for you. If you want to use a, no a noise amplifying device, you have to get a permit to use one. You don't have one. If you, got gra if you were granted one, then you can have a band, whatever, whatever it is. Unless you have one of them, you can't use noise amplifying devices. I'm just, all I'm doing is trying to give you the law. No, I understand. So I, I don't, that. so I don't have to enforce it. Okay, That's but all. I, to I, my knowledge. I did ask her for one, and she okay. said I can't give you one. Well, I'm the police, and I'm advising you. Okay, well, to all my right. knowledge, and according well, to the lawyers. Well, if you use it, if you use it, you're going to get a citation. I can't ask you that's a question. It. I mean, no, I, I, I can't ask you about the law. That's it. That's the end of, that's the, that's well, the law. Well, that's not it. There's six pages there, so. It's highlighted, okay? We're not, we're not going to play games either. You've I'm been advised. I'm asking you about the law. You've been advised. You cannot use that. Officer, All right. and you're supposed to tell me the wall when I ask for it. You've been told. Thank you, Mr. O'Donnell. All right, here's what we were just shown to by one of the officers from the police department. And it's basically a noise disturbance ordinance. Now, I have been in to talk to one of the lieutenants about this specific thing because I told them I had wanted to use a horn. I wanted to use a horn, and um, they told me, I would, he told me that there's an ordinance against using a bullhorn, which there is no ordinance against using a bullhorn. It's called a noise or a disturbance. And then he told me that you need a permit to use one. So I sent me, he sent me upstairs and when I asked for a permit, they told me upstairs that that's, you know, we can't give you a permit to break one of our own ordinances. So there really is no ordinance against a bullhorn, but there is a, they have an ordinance against noise disturbance. So my understanding of it is if they get a complaint, from somebody, that's when something like this could possibly go into effect, but here we go. He couldn't really explain exactly how it works. All he was saying that what he says goes, and that is wrong. They don't even understand their own ordinances in this township, Westchester. Like to offer my own commentary about the ordinance. It says the sound has to carry 50 feet. I wonder why the police don't arrest everybody with the radio driving by. Police just walked by, that was for his benefit.